Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. My name is Captainess123 and today we will be working on solving problems with fractions. Today we will be looking at equivalent fractions. These are fractions that have the same size but different numerators and denominators. For example, if we look at a square that is cut into two equal parts and the same square cut into four equal parts, we see that one half is the same as two quarters. Equivalent fractions can be bigger or smaller. We obtain equivalent fractions by either multiplying or dividing both the numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, if we take the fraction 2 thirds and multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, we get the fraction 4 sixths. There are a few different ways in which we can determine whether fractions are equivalent. We can compare visual representations. Another method is the cross multiplication of numerators and denominators. If we cross multiply and get the same value, the fractions are equivalent. For example, if we compare 1 half and 4 eighths, we can cross multiply. We multiply the 2 by 4 and get a product of 8. We then multiply the 1 by 8, again getting a product of 8. These fractions are therefore equivalent. If we get a different product when we cross multiply, the fractions are not equivalent. We can also determine equivalent fractions using specific numerators and denominators. We know that for fractions to be equivalent, we must multiply the numerator and denominator by the same value. Therefore, the relationship between the two denominators must be identical to the relationship between the numerators. Let's look at this example. When given the fraction 3 quarters, we want to find out how many sixteenths are equivalent to 3 quarters. To do this, we must look at the relationship between 4 and 16. We divide 16 by 4 and get 4. This means the two numerators are related by the multiple of 4. Hence, we multiply the numerator 3 by 4 and get a value of 12. 3 quarters is equivalent to 12 sixteenths. Let's try a new example, with the fraction being 1 third. How many ninths are equal to one third? We must first divide our denominators. We divide nine by three and get three. This means our numerators are related by the multiple of three as well. We multiply the numerator one by three to give us three. Therefore, one third is equivalent to three ninths. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.